Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to um, get third party apps, which is non non market apps on the Motorola Backflip. Now, like, the this could also be used to get free apps, but you shouldn't really do that, it's wrong. Um, I will not include a, a website to get free apps in the description, but you could find one yourself if you're that tempted to get free apps. But, anyways. The first thing you do, I am on, well, I'm on through, um, 2.1 firmware, 2. Point, uh, Android 2.1, uh, that will be an announced tutorial on how to get it on here. You do not need a root, it's straight from Motorola, and it's very easy. It takes about an hour to do, but if you're patient, you could get it. So this is what it looks like, that's just, you'll find out more about 2.2.1 as you're scrolling around in this video but anyways um the first thing you want to do on your phone to get third-party apps is go ahead into into your um your menu thing and settings then hit applications you do not need root for this you hit development and then you hit USB debugging and then it, you want to hit okay just don't worry about this thing don't worry about it and then now what you want to do is get your your phone your phone USB cable. The one that says Echo Moto on it. I hope you know what that is. But um and you plug it in. Then this is very important. When it says USB connected, you wanna slide down. You wanna make sure one of these well that's not gonna happen if you're still on the one point five Android. But if you're on the 2.1, that error, that thing will pop up. You don't. You just want to leave that alone. But this one, when it says USB connected, you want to hit it. Then you want to hit charge only. I don't know if you can see it because this camera doesn't focus. And um, that's it. That's all you need. To, that's all you need to do on your phone. Now that that doesn't mean we're done. We can just drag App Store SD card and then hit a button and install them. No, you need to um, do a lot of things on PC over there. That's my PC. Um, yeah, so let's switch over to PC. Okay, so now that we're on the PC, we are. Um, first thing you want to do is go to the first link in the description, the, the Android SDK link, the, the one that says Android SDK, obviously. And you want to hit the first one or wh whichever one you're on. Whichever operating system you're on, I'm on Windows. So you want to hit the, you want to hit that, you want to hit open. Since I already, well, I have, I already have it downloaded, but I'll show you what you have to do. Okay, so now it's done downloading. A window should pop up. You should have WinRAR on your computer. If you don't have WinRAR, then that link will be in the description also. Then what you want to do is hit that folder. Yeah, you want to click that folder. And then hit extract to, then hit local disk C. It should be local disk, but whatever your C drive is named, as long as it says C or whatever, your main hard drive. And then you want to do C, and then ADB will be the folder name. It has to be ADB to follow the instructions correctly. Now I already have the ADB folder on there, so I'm just going to cancel the next out of this. Now the second thing you want to do is get the USB drivers, which 32 bit or 64 bit will be in the description. If you don't know, I recommend choosing 32-bit. If that does not install correctly, then do 64-bit. But I have a 32-bit operating system since this is a pretty old computer. So then you're just going to hit open. And then you're going to double click that and it will install. Then when you're done with that, what you need to do is go to your uh, C drive local disk C and then go to the ADB folder then you're gonna wanna go to tools now I already did this but I'm gonna show you how to do this so you can go ahead and go to computer again if you have Windows 7 you can do this to Windows like that you just drag it to the side and then let go um, all right, do it that. um Then you want to go to Windows, 
find system 32. It should be somewhere around here. System 32. Then you search CMD. You you um you want to right click. This is important. You want to right click this. You don't want to drag and drop. Right click. Right click this and then hit copy. Then you go into here. Just click on the blank space and then right click and then click paste. Um, it's already in here, so I'm just gonna replace it. But that's not gonna pop up for you. Okay, so you double click the CMD file you should have, and then it should say C colon backslash ADB backslash backslash tools. And then um, what you want to do, then you want to just drag it right to here. Move the tools. And then you're gonna wanna right click, right click the file, click rename, and then copy it. Then you want to do ADB install, I'm to type that, and then hit space, and then right click, and click paste. And then at the end you type APK, because it shouldn't have copied. And then hit enter. And then it'll go ahead and do that. And it'll say, well, let's copy. And then it'll, it should say success. And we're going to go back to my phone and see if it installed correctly. Okay, so now that we're back on the phone, we go ahead and unlock it. And then you could unplug it if you want, but I'm not going to because there should charge my battery to it's half dead. So then we're gonna look. Then we're gonna look for the app we just installed or the widget. If it's a widget, I'll show you how. But there it is, Skype Beta. I have the normal Skype right there, but this is Skype Light. So um, I'm gonna try that out in a few minutes. But if you install the widget, like the beautiful widget, the beautiful widgets app, I just put in the dish of the uh, bleh. <coughs> okay, like the beautiful widgets APK that I put in the description. You wanna hold down on your hold down on a blank space on any home screen, and then you wanna hit Android widgets. Then you'll find like a tons of beautiful stuff. It says beautiful, whatever. But the main thing you want is beautiful home. That'll show you the weather and the yeah, and then the center. It's, you can't really see that. But in case you do, um, you could. I have forecast opening effect, temperature notification, all that stuff. Celsius temperature is off because I don't use Celsius, obviously, because I'm in the U.S. And then, um, geolocation was always selected. I don't want to change that. Then you go to the home screen. You go to the home screen again, if that's there. Then after it's configured, you should just be able to go right into there and do it again. Scroll down, okay? And then you've got the widget. It doesn't flip like the HTC clock, but it looks pretty much like it. Just changes the time, though. And then you hit the weather thing, and it'll pop up the weather. And you'll see a cloud come in, and it's full screen. Not this area, but, like, the clouds and stuff are full screen. Now, it normally has an opening effect, but my phone's being ah. laggy. There we go. You still have the opening effect, and I like that. And as you see, the sun kind of spins. What? So, yeah, thanks for watching. And now you may be able to get onto, um, you may be able to get the... You get, bleh, you may be able to shut up. You, you may be able to get free apps if you want. If you find a website, it's fine with me. I don't have any control over it, but I recommend not. And it, it's also able. You're also able to get third-party apps, non-app apps that aren't in the market. So yeah, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe if you like the videos, and thanks again. An upcoming tutorial for 2.1 for people who don't have 2.1 on their backflip. Even if you just got your backflip, you can still get 2.1. So, yeah. Thanks.
I can fuck on the bed. We try and fuck on me. Really hard, but it's paper before I land.